All right, my friends, in this video I'm demonstrating a expander row and there are several versions of the row that you can do. There's a high row, a medium row and a low row. Let me just call it like this. Um, the high row is a little bit more difficult, targets more your upper, mid, back and your rear delts, shoulders. The uh, mid row targets more your middle back a little bit more your lats and the low row really mostly targets your lats and your um, lower mid back for most of you it's not going to make a huge difference you what you can do is always start high and as you get fatigued you bring your elbows down a little bit further until you down here because weakest stronger and strongest in the bottom or like in the low row position what you want to look out for is you want to make sure that as you row so first of all i would recommend attaching the um, expander somewhere at least on shoulder height maybe even a little bit higher eye level um, so that as you row down you focus on pulling back and down and that's already one of the points that we want to focus on is or make sure that as we row we keep our shoulders depressed you row as you do a low row back and down and even if you do a high row you want to keep your shoulders down and just your shoulders down your elbows out you don't want to row like this so from the back it doesn't look like this you keep everything down here and just your elbows out which is a little bit like the, the chicken dance or the you know like this down try. don't shrug up never and then as we do the other rows we focus on really pulling our elbow back and down and bringing our shoulder blades down as we row so let me just demonstrate a high row looks like this the mid row like that and the low row So as you can see, hopefully I row back, I pause for a second, really squeeze, and then I make sure as we use the expander, not to just let the band pull us back, but really to control it on the way back. Keep my chin, kept it slightly tucked, so you don't want to row like this. And um, yeah, you want to use um, a band or a position actually that is far enough away so that even in the starting position you already have some tension if you stand like too close you might have a little bit of tension here but no more during the last part of the range of motion so that's just something to consider and um, yeah otherwise expand is a great um, tool to use especially for higher rep stuff so it's not the best type of equipment to go heavy to do sets of six or eight or so but it's very good to especially for those postural muscles to go you want to pause really make sure you control the movement and use it more on a higher rep range i would generally say anywhere between 20 at uh, 10 10 and 25 um, is a good wide range to target thank you guys for watching hope it was helpful and see you next time bye bye